Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to discuss my top summer foundations. Um, I know we are in August and you're probably saying to yourself, Josephine, are you serious? We are almost through the end of the summer, but you know what? Summer is definitely not over yet and we still have really nice weather coming um, our way in September. So I figured, you know what, let me just get this up now anyway so that you guys can know what I've really been turning to um, throughout all these weeks in the summer and why I really like them and also give you a little bit of variety because I know that even though it's summer and a lot of us do not like cake face or we just don't like to wear a lot of product, we, there for the foundation lovers out there, you guys know that we love to wear foundation and we like to look flawless, whether we're going to work or we are going to a friend's house or if we're going to a party. I mean, there's still plenty of things coming up for summer that you still want to look good. So today I'm just gonna narrow it down to the top foundations that I love, why I love them, and um, the type of coverage that they're going to offer. So first and foremost, I'm going to discuss my um, drugstore beauty foundation that I love. And I have to say I am completely impressed with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I have a complete review and demo on this product. The foundation itself is a demi matte finish and the shade that I use is 108 Caramel Beige. So if you have similar skin tone to me, this is the shade that I use for the summer. Sometimes it's a little bit deeper than what I am, but I like that because the rest of my body is deeper. What I really like about this foundation is that if you have oily skin, you guys are really going to love this. And you can also get a really good price on this, and I just feel that the price point is so good on the L'Oreal Infallible. And um, you can either get it at the drugstore for like buy one get one half off or 40% off. Sometimes Rite Aid does these like really, really awesome um, deals. So um, it is a demi matte finish, which means that it will give you this really nice coverage. It's buildable, but it's light and uh, you will definitely see that when you apply it. And you guys could check out my review um, on this, um, this product and you guys could see. So the next product is the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Bronzing Beauty Balm. It has SPF 30 in it and um, it's water resistant for 80 minutes. Now you've seen me discuss this in my Stila Favorites video. Uh, what I can tell you guys is that it's really nice. It's almost like a semi-matte finish, so it does offer really nice coverage. It definitely gives you a really nice tan look on, look on the skin. A little bit goes a long way. You really do not need that much at all. It's pigmented, and uh, the cost on this is $38. And again, you can just watch uh, out for Stila sales and deals and specials. Um, but if you're a little bit uncertain about this, you could check out the other ones that I discussed in my channel that are really, really good. But I happen to like this because it really makes my face look nice and, and, and this like really nice tan without being overdone, especially because my body tans more than my face. So I happen to really like that. Um, it, you do have to blend it pretty quick but once it's all blended in, and I like using the Sigma Kabuki brush to do that, it looks great. It looks like second skin. And it really does stay on all day. It doesn't really budge. So if you do have oily skin, again, this is a great option for you. If you have normal to dry, this is also a great option for you because it's like one product all in one. And that's what I love about these Stila's um, beauty balms that they have. I mean, they're just they're great. I mean, they're just wonderful. The other foundation that I'm really liking for summer is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smoothing Balm. I have a complete review and demo on this product, but what I like about this, it comes in a compact. It's very creamy consi consistency to it, and it offers a really nice coverage on the, um, on the skin. And when you do pick this up, you can also get this with the brush that comes in the set. And um, I have to say, my skin has a really beautiful luminosity to it all day while I'm wearing this it offers a really really nice coverage I mean I, I had it on just actually yesterday and um, one of my friends just loved 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 the way it looked on my skin and uh, she says you know what do you have on I just I says just that smoothing balm from Tarte what I also like about it is the nutrients that it has in this product and it just really smooths and glides onto the skin the only downfall about this um, compact is that I can't say it's gonna last all day without moving. So by the time I'd say the end of the day comes, 
you might see a little bit of movement um, and it, it'll seep into your skin so it's not so bad because you will actually look very natural all day long wearing this so the next foundation that I actually really like is the LC micro silk foundation I picked up two colors a few weeks ago this one was sand and I think the other one was natural um, the tag came off the other one but what I can tell you guys is that this is very similar in coverage to the L'Oreal infallible pro matte but it's a step up um, you can definitely blend this it's it's not as matte as the L'Oreal infallible pro matte and it does give you that light to medium coverage that is buildable and I really really like this if you guys watched my vlog my New York City vlog and I'll put a link below on that of when I went into Manhattan to work with polished girls that day I wore this foundation and I will tell you it didn't budge all day I absolutely loved it it retails for $45 I'll put some links below so you guys can get um, better swatches um, but what I can tell you is that it glides onto the skin beautifully it's not oily it's not too matte it just give you it gives you just the right amount of coverage and you, it's weightless so you really do not feel cakey wearing this at all so um, I really really like especially when I'm going out I happen to really like this foundation now I have two more foundations that are a little bit on the higher end side the first one that I'm going to talk about is the by Terry um, Eclat opulent neutral lifting foundation when I had picked this up in Space NK, they originally had told me that it is like a medium to full coverage. This is out of her fuller coverage foundations. Um, it comes in a pot like this and the foundation is inside. It has a very creamy consistency to it. This is definitely second skin. I mean, you put this on and you will feel like you're not wearing anything. I can't say that I got really long long lasting longevity out of it but what I can tell you is that my skin felt totally amazing without moisturizer or with moisturizer I mean it was just I love the way it feels on the skin so this is something that can take you from spring to summer throughout the entire summer and definitely into you know September and then going into fall um, so if you guys are not fans of high coverage foundation or full coverage foundation but want something that just makes your skin kind of look e even and uh, gives it such a really nice luminosity without being oily I absolutely love the Eclat Opulent from By Terry. So for any of my subscribers on um, on YouTube, if you have mature skin, this is something that you should definitely look into and get a sample of and see how you like the way it feels. It retails for $150. It's a little steep, but this is enriched with all these skincare properties and lifting and uh, kind of like plumping the skin properties for mature skin. Now, if you don't, you're not mature. You don't have mature skin, um, and you're in your like mid thirties, like me, and going into your forties. I'd still recommend it. I mean, because it's always beneficial to get good skincare um, out of a foundation or any makeup that you're wearing, because it's just like extra nutrients for the skin. And last but not least is my favorite high end foundation, the La Mer treatment fluid foundation and it has SPF 15 in it um, this retails for $85 I picked this up in Nordstrom I have to tell you guys that this is by far one of the best foundations that I have ever tried I mean I think I like this just as much as I like the DR nude air serum um, I have so many women that I have met that tell me, you know, Josephine, any foundation that I've tried, it looks cakey on me, it fills in my lines, I don't like the way it makes me look, um, I'm just not happy with it, I'd rather not wear anything, I'd rather just wear a concealer. You guys will love this. Age does not matter, um, but for those of you that do have mature skin and do not like foundation, um, or want something to really even out your skin tone and just really look like you're not wearing anything but have this great uh, end result, then you guys are going to absolutely love this foundation. Your skin is going to glow. Um, one pump is all you need. I put on two pumps today and I felt that that was a little bit too much, but it doesn't move, it doesn't budge, it looks like skin, it has all these anti-aging properties. If you guys don't know about La Mer, it has these wonderful ingredients in their products that are just great for any skin type. I was so impressed with this foundation. I, I practically use this since the day, the first day that I um, that I picked it up, and I was a little hesitant because it was eighty five dollars. But 
I, I just out of all the foundations if you're looking for something you want to spend a little extra money on it this summer without having overly full coverage or even medium this is like light to medium coverage it's definitely buildable because one pump it, it just glides on like as if you're wearing a moisturizer so um, I feel like I'm not a fan of tinted moisturizers. I don't I don't see the purpose of a lot of these tinted moisturizers because it's just a foundation mixed in with moisturizer and sometimes even um, a primer and you guys can make that on your own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on my top summer foundation. And if you guys like seeing videos like this, give this a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below. You guys know that I always try to answer all of you back as soon as I can. It's just been a little hectic here with clients with me, but that's why I had to get this video up because you know what? We still have a little while to go. I mean, the warm weather is going to stick around for a little while. So um, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on my top summer foundations and I will see all of you in my next video.